Basically, we discovered that we can apply laws of physics to fermentation, including the digestion and fermentation that occurs in the cow's stomach. And from there, we looked at, well, fermentation occurs in food industry and it's part of biofuel production. Really, there's basically only two uh, biofuels that are produced in the United States and really around the world. One is methane gas, which is similar to natural gas, and the second is ethanol. But these are expensive things to produce, and they can only produce in limited quantities. Here what we're doing, and that's going to show it's you. One of the biggest problems of our generation is the fact that we don't have renewable energy. And so I think biofuel seems like the most viable drop in fuel that you could use instead of gasoline. It's nice to come into work and feel like you're doing something useful instead of just going to class. When you can do work where you find that, that um, the results are understandable and that it starts to fit into a a, a puzzle, you're starting to figure the puzzle out and put the pieces together, that's very exciting. and I think that's what's happening. So we're very excited that we were able to take something from a very basic science all the way to something that could be very practical.